Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I know I said I would upload a video every single week, at least one a week. And this last week, I was actually in Las Vegas in LA. Uh, me and some guys, we took a trip out there uh, for fun, just before school started. So um, that's why I didn't get one up this week, but I'll try to do two this week. To make up for that but this is also a new lens so if you can tell a difference I'm actually holding this lens like a foot from my face it's a wide angle so so if you don't like the lens just let me know in the comments but I think I think I like it I haven't used it a whole lot but I think it'll do fine but if you want to see pictures more pictures or videos and stuff from my Vegas and LA trip check out my Instagram at irankoski or you can search eyes and you'll find it but in this video I'm going to talk about uh, how I take care of them when it snows like this. Because as you can see, we've got like two to three inches of snow. Um, and they're holding up pretty fine, pretty good. They're not pretty fine. <laughs> uh, they're holding up, not doing bad. As you can see, they're all in the barn here because they're cold. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna talk about what I do to take care of them when it's cold and we have bad weather like this. If you don't know Holsteins, they aren't as they aren't as uh, hardy or yeah, hardy's the right word. They aren't as hardy as beef calves and like we have calves born in this weather right here newborns and they do just fine but Holsteins even this age they can have trouble when it's this cold so um, they're not not as hardy, especially when it comes to cold weather. They're just not. I don't know. Their fur is not as thick. Their skin's not as thick. They have more bones to them than meat, so it's just that's how they are. Um, but anyway, as you can see, they're all here in the barn. I did lock them. They've been locked in here for like three weeks now. Um, ever since Chewy died in the pond. I've kept them locked up because it's been just too cold and the pond's been frozen, so what are you up to? Anyway, so they're in the barn, and as you can see in here, it's pretty poopy and dirty and gross, but I do replace their bedding every other day, and so today is the day that I'll replace that. You want some beddings too, don't you? Anyway, so I'll replace the bedding in here, that side, this side, I don't put any bedding because all they do is eat grain in here um, and they need some more it looks like um, but on this side this is where they sleep most of the time this is where they lay down so I need to replace the bedding most of the time I honestly just use some old hay that cows wouldn't eat just because we have it around and it's free and it go to waste otherwise so if you have straw I use straw before that works just as fine but um, for me, I'm just going to use hay, and that seems to work pretty well. So then, when they're out of here, I'll just get the tractor in here, scoop it all out, and use it as compost. We'll put a big compost pile. He doesn't want to leave me alone. Oh, not the camera. Anyway, I'll put a big, make a big compost pile. We'll use it in the garden or in the field, whatever. So he's trying to get me. Come on. Okay, now he doesn't want to play. Anyway, so these are the calves. If you want a little size update, um, he's not going to leave me alone. Got him! Anyway, this is, these are the calves. As you can see they all look pretty good. Um, they they are growing, but I don't know. I'm around them every day, so I it's hard for me to know how much they've grown, but. And so guys, now let's talk about the hay. Um, this is just fescue hay. It's good fescue hay, but obviously fescue hay isn't the best um, compared to some of the other stuff you can get. But um, we don't bale our own hay, so this is just stuff that we bought. It was good, and I ran out of alfalfa, so that's why I'm using this. But uh, it is a smart idea to feed higher protein hay if you have it in the winter, just because it helps them um, stay warmer, just like deer, anything, wildlife, anything like that. They pick higher protein diets in the winter just because it keeps them warmer. 
um, when, especially when they're burning a lot of energy when they're cold. So um, higher higher protein hay is best, but this is just what we're working with now. They also do get a lot of grain, so um, this is sort of just keep them busy and nibbling on something. So that's the hay. Water. I have to come out here every two hours. And break their ice so they can drink. Um, we actually have a de-icer that's never been opened, so I may try that. But right now the the hose is frozen, so I'm going to have to put that in the barn and and warm it up. But so yeah, they need some more water. I'll get some of that now. They still have. Yeah, there's one thing a lot of people underestimate, um, especially in calves these size, they drink a lot of water. May not seem like it, but they honestly do. So um, if their water goes frozen for more than a few hours, they, you can tell. Um, now we're all having fun, but anyway. Uh, yeah, water is more important than you'd imagine. Um, they drink a lot of it, they need a lot of it, especially when it's this cold. And being dehydrated in this temperature, that can be a bad deal. So, make sure they've always got water. Um, obviously, if you have a pond that's not frozen, that works better, but I don't want to lose another calf. So, um, I'm hauling water out, but um, they're doing fine. So, anyway, that's just my little update. Um, we've actually got... Hold on. We've actually got 30, 30 to 40 heifers calving here um, within the next month. And we had one born yesterday, newborn, right in the middle of the snowstorm. Um, so we've been checking on him just to make sure he's fine. He's acting fine, but we don't wanna, don't wanna say he's fine and not be. So we're checking him every couple hours to make sure. But it's gonna be busy, so. Um, if you guys want to see a lot of new baby calves, we're going to have them, so uh, stay tuned, but can't wait till spring when they can get, on, get out on grass, but anyway guys, I hope that was a little update that you guys needed or wanted. Um, uh, I know a few people are asking about them, but this is how they're holding up, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. If you haven't checked out my channel before, make sure you do, and if you... I'm getting mauled by a mauled by a calf. Now he's just looking at me. Anyway, if you guys haven't checked out my channel, make sure you do. If you enjoy the content, at least consider subscribing. That'd help me out. But um, I'll put my Instagram and everything else in the description below if you guys want to check that out too. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.